What's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent, and today I'm team building around Chewis Band Delmice for Sword and Shield OU. Then I will be testing out the team on the Pokemon Showdown ladder. I got the set in my Discord server. I believe the guy put enough speed on it for Sylveon, so we can outspeed like Fat Sylveon, then we just have Max Attack Adamant and 92 HP. The Pokemon that wall this are Corviknight, Ferrothorn, and komo -Oh, so I definitely want a way to pressure all three of those, and one way that I can do that is with an offensive Arcanine that has the combination of Fire Stab and Player Off, because this is able to blow back komo -Oh. obviously this hits the Steel types very well. In order to ensure that we have infinite switch-ins, I'll go Heavy Duty Boots, and then I'll put Extreme Speed on here, because the priority sometimes saves us against Pokemon like Zeraora that have a higher speed tier. The one Pokemon that I can't really hit is a Dragapult because obviously it's a normal immunity. Let's go ahead and run Jolly Nature. Because I have the boots, I don't mind running an even HP stat. It shouldn't really matter, so great combination. But what I need is one Pokemon that can switch in and pressure Fairy and Steel type Pokemon into coming in. Because if a Fairy Pokemon can come in, we can U-turn out into... Delmize, and if we catch a steel type, Arcanine can come in, so what Pokemon can learn those types? So obviously Fairy and Steel, a Dragon immediately comes to mind, so a Dragon type with U-turn. I would go Dragapult, but a lot of Fairy type Pokemon, like, I guess Spidaf, Clef, and Sylveon do kind of want to come in on Dragapult, but some steel types like Corviknight and Ferrothorn will get scared by Flamethrower and won't come in, so I want a Dragon that will actually have those Pokemon come in every single time, and the only one that I can really think of is Flygon. I guess Noivern is another one, but I like Flygon's ability to run Choice Scarf and also check Zara, so we're going to go ahead and do that with U-Turn, Outrage, Earthquake, and Fire Punch. And then I'll go like Max Attack, Max Speed, Jolly Nature with foreign spadef so great i love the offensive core right here we have two great breakers and a way great way to get them in i need def defense on my team and i need hazards as well so regarding the defense what types do i not have resists to i don't have a dark resist hydreigon is looking like a problem weavile not so much so because i have arcanine so i'm not super worried i definitely want a ghost resist as well so dark and ghost resist a dragon resist would be great too I think regarding the Dragon Resist, I could definitely just run a Fairy, like Hatterene, Gardevoir, Clef, Sylveon. All great options that I can opt for right here. Regarding the Stealth Rocker, I could go Mamoswine. It would definitely, it would pressure Dragapult with Priority Ice Shard, which is the big thing that I'm looking at right here. Dragapult is kind of annoying with Shadow Ball because it kind of just claims kills right now, so... A great way to revenge that and a great way to switch in is what I need, and I think regarding the revenging option, Mamoswine is actually good right here, so... Ground Spam is actually really good in the current meta, by the way, especially with all the tools I have to pressure prevalent ground immunities, like Mandibuzz and Corviknight both don't appreciate Flare Blitz and Player Offs, so... I think the double ground should do really well. I'll go Life Orb with Thick Fat, and then I'll go Earthquake, Icicle Crash, Ice Shard... And obviously Stealth Rocks, because that was the big reason why I'm running this. That and the ability to revenge drag. So we have two slots left. Where do I want to take the team from now? I think I still want that fairy type, if I'm being honest. And I still need a ghost resist. If I opted for Gardevoir as my fairy, I would have to run like Mandibuzz or Umbreon on the last slot. Because obviously Gardevoir is a fairy that doesn't really take on Dragapult so I would need an alternate switch and now the thing I like about Gardevoir is it has the speed tier for Conkeldur whereas other fairies generally don't like Clef is just going to come in and get 2 it KO'd by Facade same with Sylveon because every single Conkeldur right now runs a ton of speed I've seen some people max it out to 189 but generally I like to reach like 174 and then have a bit of bulk on there either way I think Gardevoir is the one fairy that I want to run to ensure that I can really take that on. I'll go AV with the EV spur that allows me to take on plus two life or Hydreigon's flash cannon. For those of you who don't know, if you run 176 spadef and a calm nature, you can actually live plus two flash cannon after hazards. Then I believe it's 236 on here. And then the 96 allows us to outspeed bulky komo -Oh, as well as Pokemon like Adam and Tyranitar and Modest Age Slash. The coverage, I want Trace on here, by the way, because that's actually helpful with Zara Plasma Fists, even though we already have two immunities, like, it's sometimes good. Then we'll go Moonblast, Psychic, 
Thunderbolt for Corviknight because currently my only real way of breaking that is with Arcanine, so I definitely want another option. Mystical Fire on last slot here. I kind of like Umbreon better than Mandibuzz on the last slot, and the reason for that is my fairy type doesn't get reliable recovery, so the wish pass is going to be really useful. Another thing is that Umbreon just takes on those Pokemon better, like Specs Dragapult Draco or Thunder hurts Mandibuzz a lot, whereas Umbreon doesn't care at all, and I'm pretty sure Umbreon can also just completely eat up plus 2 Draco from Hydreigon if Gardevoir has already taken chip damage, so with all of that said, I'll go Umbreon right here with like max HP, max Bidef, and this will be like the one fat Pokemon we have on the team. Wish passing to like even offensive Pokemon can be really useful. Say I'm dumb and I let Mamoswine take damage for no reason, I can just pass Wish to that. I guess what Pokemon would I really pass that Wish on though? I can't think of anything on the top of my head, but I'm sure if we find this scenario I'll be able to take advantage of it. Mine a special attack. And then we'll go leftovers with Wish. Protect, Foul Play, and Toxic. And I believe that will be the team. What is your other ability? Nothing useful. Okay. These abilities are fine, right? Let's go ahead and play. Alright, I found a game. I just took this guy's record because he actually is on a Suspect Test Ladder account. And he is currently 20-0, so maybe we can end the win streak right here. I definitely like Gardevoir, and I really like Mamoswine. Those are my two best Pokemon. I can definitely see him leading off with the Kyurem, so... I think we'll go Gardevoir lead, and if he leads off with, like, Age Slash, I'll go Umbreon. Well, that depends. Do I think the Age Slash is physical or special? Looking at his team composition, I could see it being SD Age Slash. He ends up leading off with the Clef. It could be T-Wave, for all I know. I don't like Hard Mamo. Mamo is really good right here. I kind of like Hard Delmize, if I'm being honest. Let's do that. Delmize is good right here, but I think it can afford to take the Moonblast. If he's Life Orb, that'll hurt. <laughs> and Life Orb should outspeed me. Yeah, we're gonna stay in one turn, actually. As he teleports out. Okay, so that's really good for me. I think he was hoping to get momentum into, like, Cure, maybe? So this is Balloon. I, I really think this is a physical set, so I'm gonna go Arcanine. And I don't care if he goes Seismitoad on that. I will kind of just... Flare Blitz into that, I think, because I can try to get him Delmize if he goes Toad. One thing that I wonder is, how much do I do to Mandibuzz with Heavy Slam from Delmize? A lot, okay. <laughs> yep, he is physical like I thought he would be. That's good for me right here. And... We'll just heal. I know he's gonna go Toad, so I kind of want to be at full health, and... Oh, that's actually risky. He could have gone hard Dougie, but I had extreme speed, so I would have broken the Sash. We'll make the Delmize play here as he actually knocks off my Choice Band. It's a bit annoying. I don't think it'll matter too much in the long run. We'll go right for Heavy Slam on the Mandibuzz. Yeah, I think this will do a lot. Eh, didn't actually do that much. Okay. Well, I'll take the turn to get in Mammoth Swine. I don't think he would Foul Play. Yeah, he goes for Roost. And my best play immediately is Icicle Crash. I don't want to take a Foul Play right here while trying to get Upper Hawks. That would be pretty horrible. And Icicle Crash should Oko this, so. I'm hoping that we can maybe put in some work with Mamo right now. If he goes Aegislash, I break the Balloon, which is actually really useful. Like, I really want to click rocks, but I don't think it's worth it, even though Kyurem is such a big threat. Does my Gardevoir's investment allow me to take two Ice Beams from Kyurem? It does, okay. That's good. He's really debating here. Yeah, I can't I can't let him foul play this. That would be horrible. Yeah, he's gonna try to foul play it. Oh, he actually got flinched. I feel really bad now. I did that was more fizz death than I thought it was then. Alright, my bad dude. If he had foul play right there, that's actually really lame. And I'm assuming he did, because that's the reason you would stay in. Okay, there's some justice right there, so at least there's that. He goes for U turn though. I don't know if he expected me to switch out. Maybe I should have just Ice Sharded, but I don't think it's too big of a deal. Like, that thing shouldn't be able to recover on anything. Like, worst case, he roosts on my Umbreon, but I'll be able to Toxic it if he does. So, out comes the Age Slash. I'll make that Arcanine play again. Delmize is getting kind of low. I gotta be careful. It goes right for Iron Head, and... 
We'll actually double into my Delmize this time, predicting the Toad. Yeah, because if he knocks off twice, that's really bad. So I'm able to get in safely right here, and my play is always Power Whip. As he brings in the Manda Buzz, and it's able to hang on, which is pretty unfortunate. Okay, we'll make the Mammoth Swine play then, as he actually just takes U-turn momentum. I thought for sure he would try to reduce it, but I guess this thing isn't super good for him, so I kind of understand why. It is his Flygon check, though, because Clef is kind of low. That's why I'm confused. Like, the moment the Balloon gets broken on Aegislash, Flygon can click Earthquake if this was dead, so... That's the confusing thing. I go Arcanine every time. He might double this time, but I'm not going to predict it. Yep, he does double to Dougie. Good play. I'm just going to Extreme Speed right here. Like, that's my only play, really. My Arcanine is dead, so I might as well Extreme Speed. And then we'll probably go Flygon and, like, U-turn after. Yep, that is a good amount. He goes right for the Earthquake, which is able to knock me out. That's fine. I was kind of expecting that to happen at some point in the match, and... Yeah, like I mentioned, we can go Flygon now and just U-turn out. Goes hard Toad, that is all good. We have a few options, I can go Delmize, which I think is the best play. And I'll Heavy Slam, actually I'll Power Whip. I don't want to risk the miss on Mandibuzz coming back in, but we're not going to miss, yeah. We've already missed once on to Mandibuzz, I don't think it's happening again. So, do I go Umbreon or... Gardevoir on this Kyurem. I think I go Umbreon. Gardevoir is really good. Like, really good. And Ice Beam doesn't do too much, as you can see, so... Yeah, we can safely go Umbreon here. On that. Look at that. 20. Wait, is that even Specs? He's Scarf. Okay, really good to know that. I kind of want to double on the Clef, so let's do so. Good play, dude. But I don't think that'll matter as long as I get an Umbreon again. So he's, he's sub-lefties. Oh wait, he's not sub-lefties, he's probably sub-metronome. Yeah, that's definitely what this is, it's sub-metronome for sure. Okay, we got really good damage on this thing, which I think is better for me. So does Flygon Earthquake kill? I don't think so. Yeah, it doesn't. Gardevoir is another okay play here, but I kind of want to keep it around because it's really good against what he has left. No, I think I take the hit with the guard. I would be losing guard, basically. That's the annoying thing. I could just go for the Earthquake roll, but that seems really careless. Okay, we'll go Gardevoir here and just throw off a Moonblast. I think he'll leave it in and then try to trap me with Dougie, if anything. Unless he thinks I'm Choice Scarf, which... He doesn't necessarily know that I'm not Scarf. Right? He hasn't attacked it yet, so there is that. I think he probably keeps this around, it's just a matter of what does he... Sack then. He could go Hard Age Slash, most likely. He's gonna sack off the Clef, okay. So, I'm able to knock out the Clef right there. Then he goes Age Slash. I think I break the Balloon, then go for the the Flygon win. Yeah, I think that's better. Like, I understand that I'm kind of risking the game right here by sacking this, but I think switching out is a guaranteed L, so I'm just going to Mystical Fire. If he has Ds, I can beat it still, so I'm not worried about that. Sasmator is still really healthy, huh? It's a bit annoying. I actually got a crit, but I don't think that should matter. The best play here is always to go Flygon. Actually, it does matter if I can kill it with Flygon U-turn, but... I think I still go Mammo and just Earthquake. Sacks off the Dug Trio, understandable. But I think he might be throwing to Outrage at this rate. Can I kill that thing with at 22% with Outrage? That's Blade. If he was fully offensive, I could. I doubt he is. I'll attack here. 
I think I attack, then go Delmize and try to force more damage with that. He should just knock me out. That's always his play here. Hmm. That crit might actually be a big deal. No idea what he's thinking so hard about. You always attack here. Wait a minute. If I got a Barox, I would definitely put that thing in range of Outrage. No, but then I wouldn't get any damage on this for Flygon. I don't think I could afford that. Because all you would have to do is switch it out, sack off like Age Slash, then go cure him, and then I would lose, right? Unless I got really lucky against this thing with Scald Burns, but I think Earthquake's more reliable. Yep, that does a lot. I go Delmize here, and... The best play is always to go for Power Whip. As he sacks that off, he's gonna get in the Kyurem, but I think I win with Outrage. Yeah, pretty sure I have this guy beat. He has to try to sub or something, but I'm never gonna let him sub. <laughs> this, was a, this was a cool game, I enjoyed this one. Like, I definitely got a bit lucky, but... I think had I knocked out the Mandibuzz earlier with the second Icicle Crash, that would have been big. Obviously, I, I don't know whether he had foul play on the Mandibuzz, right? He only showed Roost in U-turn. If his Dark-type move was knockoff, I don't think the miss was as big, but... Yeah, I don't know what he's thinking about here. You just stay in and Ice Beam, but then I think you lose. This guy should still get Rex, though, as you can see. Like, he would have to lose, like, what, like, six more games? Did I just slash Data him? Slash ladder, O U T Y 16, like, he's 21 to know. There's no way you don't get Rex after starting off that strong. Like, he's also, where am I on the ladder? I have to check after this, because he's not very high on the ladder. What is he thinking about here? Is he just going to time out? Like, this is definitely over. Nah, dude, that's not going to work. I'm doing a bit too much. Like, even if you roost stall me out of 15 of them, I should be fine. And I'll ever switch. Like, I I'm pretty sure Outrage can guarantee to kill this. Also, I'm pretty sure Earthquake would break the sub, too. Yeah, it does. Earthquake would always break the sub. Actually, wait a minute, it's not over. And here's why. If he switches out into Toad on the Flygon, and I get confused in two turns, and then I hit myself against Kyurem, he still wins the game. So there's a sub. He has pressure, which is interesting. He roosts here, right? Making the play. And actually, we're not making the play. I think that's a choke. Yeah, I can't switch out. I just have to hope that I can beat this. Yeah, that's doing 35. That's doing a bit too much. How many more roosts does he have? Eight? I think I lost. I can't get faster than him. Sixty-two, seven roosts, ten earthquakes. Does power rip break it? Doesn't look like it. Actually, wait a minute. Power rip breaks it as well, so... I think he needs to hope I miss power rips to win this game. Seven roosts. I got him, I got him, okay. So now all I need to do is outrage this, it should knock it out, and then... I guess it comes- he should switch out here every time. And hope that the flag- the Seismitoad can take this hit. 
And then he has to hope that I get the two turn and hit myself. That's his win condition. Unless he lives this. I guess I'll calc it too, but I don't think that'll make a difference at this point. Okay, I do kill. Yeah, he has to switch out and hope I hit myself. If he doesn't, I, I basically win automatically. Because Seismitoad should take these hits just fine. But he didn't make the play, I don't know why. This would have lived an outrage, I think, and he would have been able to win. Yeah, look at that. He, he actually had a chance had he just switched out. I don't know why he didn't. But yeah, that's going to be that. I thought it was over once I um, had the sim in the situation with Kiram, but then I remembered about pressure, and I was like, oh, wait a minute, I can't, I can't actually beat this, huh? So I had to make the switch at some point, I think. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get another game. So I have the next game right now. A couple things, I think that guy's plan might have been to roost up to 100%, so that way the flag on outrage was a roll, so I think I did make the switch on the correct turn. Also, I am 1600, so I guess I just got matched up against a suspect test ladder who wasn't as high as me, but that's all good. Let's go ahead and see what I can do right here. Mammoth Swine is once again really amazing with its dual stab. Just gotta get damage on the Seismitoad. How do I deal with Jirachi? I guess Arcanine is okay, but... I kind of want to know whether it's Thunder Rave or not before I assume that I can take it on. We'll go with Flygon as they end up bleeding off with the Toad. Safe to assume that they just try to go for Rocks immediately. I'll go for U-Turn, obviously. The thing about the Dracovish here is, if it's Scarf, I don't know if I have a lot of counterplay to that because my way to revenge it is with Flygon and they have Clef, so that's really tough here. We'll make the Delmize play, so this at least gives me a pretty advantageous position where... I can... The thing is, they could have Protect on the set, and if they do, they could scout my move, and that would be pretty horrible. I'm gonna Heavy Slam anyway, as they go Mandibuzz. So, I'm, I'll be able to do over half, yeah, look at that. This Foul Play just straight up knock me out, because if it doesn't, I might consider clicking that again. Probably not, anyway, but I kind of want to find out here. Okay, I am very dead to that. The thing is, I don't want to go like Mammoth Swine on that either. I guess we'll make the guard play, but even that's not very great. Hmm. Yeah, this is tough because I don't want to go out onto a Pokemon and then you turn to Scarf Dracovish for a kill. I'm going to stay in. Yeah, dude, kill me. I don't care. Like, as long as you're not getting a kill with the Dracovish right there, I'm totally fine with that exchange. And right here, I'll go right for Icicle Crash. If they give me damage on the Toad, I would really value that for Arcanine and Flygon, so that would be wonderful. Ends up giving me damage on the Clef. I think rocks are worth it here. Like, the chip, especially on Dracovish, is going to be really useful. Like, another thing I could try is just kill this and then try to win with Outrage, but... Actually, I think that's what I should prioritize here. Yeah, we'll go for the Earthquake. I don't know why you would protect, like, that's the thing. I, I had it in the back of my mind, they might protect so I could get up rocks, but I didn't think they actually would. This doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Okay. Well, that's, that's annoying, like... That would have been free rocks right there, essentially, and... I'll take rocks now, I think... While this could recover and wear me down, I can go Gardevoir on it and wear it down in return, so I should be alright. But I, I still don't agree with Protect that turn. Like, the 6% isn't saving you anyway. I really don't agree with that play. <laughs> like, sure you kept the Clef, but... Now you have to, like, switch somebody into Icicle Crash. And if you go Jirachi, I value that damage, so... I would take that every time. Just don't miss Mammoth Swan. You already missed against Amanda Buzz once today. Although you did flinch one too. Okay, so we're able to hit against the Amanda Buzz. That means I can spam Earthquake now, which is pretty good. Unless they're like Air Balloon Jirachi, which it, it doesn't look like they are, believe it or not. <laughs> Goes for sub? Sub level? Is it sub to you, Ave? Get this out of here. Okay, it's sub psychic. That's bad, but I can at least pivot Umbreon on that and probably be alright. Like, I don't want to lose Arcanine right now because the extreme speed might actually be useful in the end. 
So now that I know more about their set, I think Umbreon is a bit safer. If they double out this turn, that'll be really unfortunate, I have to admit. Like, I, I would hate it if they doubled out this turn, but I don't think they will. They go for Psychic. Okay, good. And what I can do right here is, I think they're up a wish. And just foul play this. Like, I don't think it can actually beat me 1v1, that's the thing. Oh, that's an Aura. Look at how much damage that- look at how much damage I did, jeez. That's sad. So they're gonna withdraw it, which is, is good for me, I guess, but there's definitely better scenarios that could have occurred here. I think Gardevoir is definitely my best initial play here. And I like going for Mystical Fire immediately. As it at least wears this down, right? I think that's important. And look at how much damage I did with that. Like, that's not even bad. Kinda wanna catch something with the Moonblast, but I don't think that's happening. Oh, never mind. I guess it could have. Wait, if you give me damage on this, you're really weak to Earthquake at that point. Let's go ahead and attack this. Like, Gardevoir's health is valuable, don't get me wrong, but I think this the damage on this is definitely better. Stealth Rock's Toxic Dual Stab, or you Protect Scald? Okay, well, I'll take the Clef from you, and I think you just lost to my Scarf Flagon, dude. You gave me the Clef, and you gave me damage on Toad. Like, that was- that might cost you this game. It's not completely over, like, I, I have to still have to be careful against maybe Scarf Zara. Because looking at their team composition, it might actually be Scarf Zara, considering nobody else really provides too true speed control here. So, like, Scarf Player Off is mostly what I'm trying to acknowledge right now. I, I don't care about this dude. In fact, I should be faster than you. Actually, that's not true. But you can't wish it, so... Oh, wait, you don't even have a reliable recovery on this. What am I talking about? So they're gonna give it to me. That means I can actually click Outrage if I get rid of Clef, but until Clef is dead, it has to be Earthquake. That's the thing here. It can't be Outrage right now. But yeah, I think this got through big time. Like, his defensive core actually had matchup, and... What do I have traced right now? Magic Guard? That's no good. Hmm. I think we'll go ahead and give them this. Yep, they're able to knock me out. It could actually be Choice Scarf. Nonetheless, my play here is flag on to Earthquake this. I don't think Clef can actually protect into Wish on my flag on. It should still die. All I've got to do is make sure that Clef doesn't get in on Umbreon, and this should be my game. Man, I'm actually- I'm a bit worried about Scarf's era, but, like, if it's Scarf player off, I still have my Arcanine, so down goes the Toad. I don't think this recovers on me. If this actually doesn't take 30, I'm gonna cry, but it does, yeah. <laughs> okay. And the best sequence of plays right here is to force the Outrage. So we'll suck the Umbreon. Ooh, that's kinda cool. I don't think it matters, but it's kind of cool. Like, sure you kill me? I go with my most swine now. Just Earthquake you to break the sub, and then I should be able to clean. Like, even if the Zara lives, it, my Arcanine should be able to do the rest. So let's lock out Rage here. I guess... If Zara came in and lived it, they could have gone for Confusion Hacks. Could they have? Yeah, they could have. Actually, no, I don't think they could, because they would have to sub. And then, like, my Arcanine could just break it with extreme speed, and then Flygon would still revenge it, so I think I would have been fine. Yep, and then we can just bring this out, hit him up with that extreme speed, and that'll be the game right here. Nice, okay. I'll be right back. So I have another game right now. My opponent has a Gyarados, so I definitely need to keep my Flygon to be able to revenge that. The problem is Flygon isn't very good right here, considering they have Corviknight and Clef. Arcanine is really good though, I just have to be careful about Gastrodon. Memo is really good as well. I'm going to lead off with the Flygon. So this is interesting, I could Earthquake right away, or if I wanted to U-turn, I could go like Arcanine. I think they go Corviknight, and I kind of want momentum on that, so I'm going to U-turn. I could just go Hard Arcanine if they go Corviknight, and probably be good to go. So I guess we'll just Earthquake here. That's good, like I can just go Arcanine here. If they double out into Gyarados, I'll probably go, like, either Hard Delmize or maybe Umbreon. Let's see what they do. They go for U-turn, good play. Could's a bit annoying, but I don't think it'll matter too much. 
They can maybe go Kirim here and try to spec Earth Power. That would definitely be understandable. But yeah, my best ways to break right here are with... They actually don't have Intimidate. I'll go Umbreon. Goes right for sub. I'll foul play here. Dragon Dance is up. This is not going to take my hit well, so just don't flinch me and I should be able to revenge this. Yeah, they didn't want to mess with that, which makes sense. We'll make the play into... We'll go Arcanine here. That is Life Orb. Jeez, I did a lot. Okay, good to know. Yeah, that hurt. We'll heal here, and then I'll go... Ah, this is tough. I don't want to get Scald Burned on Delmize, but if I can get it in safely, that's so strong. I don't want Umbreon getting toxic, so we're gonna go Delmize. They go for Toxic and Miss, actually, so that's kind of big. And I think I'm willing to double. Yeah, because they're gonna go Corviknight, and I want to weaken this with Thunderbolt, so let's try that. Yeah, I do over half, which is really good for me. They go Jirachi, and I'll get an Arcanine on that. Goes right for Iron Head. I can't stand, though. I'll just Flare Blitz here as they go for a U-turn. Probably into Gastrodon, but if they want to be really aggressive, they can go to Gyarados. Nah, no, they just go Gastro. I wish I had a Toxic Immunity. That would be so helpful. <laughs> I don't, though. Okay, we'll make the Delmize play. Yeah, yeah, they're just going to Toxic every time, which is so bad. We'll go Mammo. Yeah, because I, I need to catch these switches really well, and now I can Icicle Crash. Not knock it out. Jeez, that actually did nothing. I guess I'll get up Rocks and go from there, but that was a sad damage amount. They're clearly very Fizz Def. We'll go Gardevoir on the Defog, but yeah, this is looking pretty bad. I don't know if I can break this team with what I have. Um, we'll obviously try. Go for Thunderbolt here. Goes hard Kyurem. I think I'm willing to take this hit and get the kill. Like, Gardevoir is good, but Kyurem is a problem. The other play is going Umbreon, but I kind of like Moonblast better. They pivot out that turn. I do a lot. I'm going to stay in once. Like, if they toxic me, I get rid of them. And they're risking crits right here. I guess... I could go Umbreon too, or I could just go hard Delmize. The problem is Delmize is not doing anything with Corbin at full, so I'm just going to continue clicking Moonblast. If they want to play defensively like this, I'll try to take advantage of it. Arcanine here on the U-turn, that's fine. They probably go to Gyarados. I think I lose. I don't think I have a very great <laughs> shot at breaking this, but... Hmm. The Gardevoir is good. They go Gaster down here. We'll go Delmize. They probably just recover up to full. Good double, but I have a Umbreon, which is max Spadef. Yeah, look at how much that does, and... We're gonna continue doubling, I think. Like, I kind of have to. I'm able to catch this. We'll go right for Thunderbolt. I think they stay in. Yeah, they leave it in this time. I do even more. So, now I need to pressure with Mammo. That's the key. If I don't pressure with Mammo now, I'm going to lose. Good U-turn. They're definitely keep, keep, keeping up momentum well, but I don't know if it'll be enough. Goes Gyarados. Could just go Umbreon and Waterfall, and I'm thinking just throw off a foul play. Oh, please. Why? That would have done like 60. <laughs> okay, they attack again. I have to wish. Like, that's so annoying. If they flinch me again, I think I just get out of here. Yeah, that, that's really unfortunate. But yeah, you can see I'm not even getting to it killed by that at plus one. I think I'll just toxic this. Like, I, I kind of need to break it somehow. And they miss theirs, so that's even better for me. I'm able to keep Umbreon healthy. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized that's a passive play against Corviknight. I have to make it anyway. Can't let anybody else get toxic. This is a double I'm actually fine with, but... Yeah, I'll just go for power up as they end up staying in to try to win. So I'm able to catch the Gyarados. 
big toxic miss, I have to admit, but I think I kind of needed that to be able to break this team. These games are so long. This might be like a three game video. <laughs> they double in Clef. Thing about Clef is it's like really good against what I have just due to the fact that it's life orb. I guess we'll go Arcanine. Like I don't need Arcanine here. I can just Morning Sun. I guess I could just Flare Blitz. I guess Arcanine is good now that I'm looking at it because I have that on a timer. The Combined Life Orb. Interesting. Okay, I'll, I'll throw here just to get rid of that and then I'll go Mammoth Swine now. And the best play is to Icicle Crash and really hope I can hit. They get in Corviknight. That's not going to help them very much. They can go cure him now, but I have Clef really low and I can spam Earthquake, so I think I win. I want to make a double that doesn't give Clef recovery. Okay, they just stayed in. I think they're just going to stay in again, so I'll go Umbreon. I get frozen. Okay, well, this is not looking great. Maybe I should stop switching around like this recklessly, but... Yeah, I was worried about this getting recovery, and now it's going to get recovery, so what can I really do about it, right? We'll go Mammoth Swine as they're going to recover it. Not much I can do about that. We'll go for Earthquake, though. It'll do a lot. In fact, I think I get a kill here. This should die. So they sack off the Jirachi. I have to keep Mammo. This is so annoying. Like, I think I should have won this game had I not gotten frozen with Umbreon, but I did. Okay, I got a wish up. I could pass that to Mammo, but I don't think that's worth it. They go Clef, I go Mammo. Actually, I could go Delmice too, but I don't think I outspeed it. Okay, we'll go Gardevoir. That's fine, I can go Mammo now and Earthquake, and I think I'm good. Because they have to sack another Mon here. Yeah, I knew Mammo was going to be the key this game. Like, they're going to sack off the Gastrodon. Yeah, no way, that can take two of those. And then all I got to do is keep Mammo Swine, and then I should be good. Let's go with Umbreon, they double out. My best place to go Delmize into Mammo. Click Earthquake here. They're going to try to get in Kiram, but it should die to Earthquake plus Ice Shard easily. And then obviously if they sack this, then Flygon just wins, so... Yeah, this should be my game. Yeah, they're gonna try to get this in. Yeah, it does die easily to Ice Shard after. And this won't be able to take my Earthquake at all. GG, okay, I'll be right back. So I have the next game right now. This is only the fourth game, but because of how long the other ones lasted, this might be the final one. Um, Toxvex is such a pain right here. Gardevoir is definitely good. I like the combination of... Moonblast, Psychic Thunderbolt, and then I even have Mystical Fire for the drill, so I can try to take advantage of that. Yeah, that and Mammo are definitely my two best Pokemon, but they have Rotom Heat, which is kind of annoying. We'll go Flygon here. They end up leading Drag. I have to go Umbreon. Like, I don't think it's worth it to stay in. They're probably going to U-turn or go Hard Corviknight, so if they do that, then I'll probably go, like, Arcanine. Yeah, there's the Corviknight. I think... Yeah, we'll make the Arcanine play right now. And see what exactly they want to do with this. I need to break with Gardevoir here, and I need to get my plays right every time to win. These fat cores like Corviknight Clef or Corviknight Toxifex just require prediction when I'm running like Mamoswine and Gardevoir, which... Like, their coverage is good, but I need all their coverage to hit every time. So we'll see how this goes. If I can nail the coverage with the Gardevoir, I think I can win this, but, like, I wonder what their Dragapult is, by the way, because I kind of need Umbreon for that. What are they thinking so hard about? You just click U-turn, like, it's so free. I guess you could, like, Brave Bird if you really want to. I don't think it gives you much. Are they a bulk upset? Yeah, you just go for U-turn. I don't know why that was so hard. <laughs> I wish I had close combat instead of player F. That would be so good right here. In fact, I don't even have a counter to this. Like, what am I supposed to do? Okay, they go for rocks. Like, I had close combat. That would be so good right there. 
Yeah, now they're pressuring every switch in, so I gotta start getting plays right now. I'll try to Toxic, but they should switch out. Not into Toxic X, I think. I thought he would go Court of a Knight. They knock off my band? Is that even that bad? I don't think so. I don't think you go hard Dragapult. So I'm gonna spin. Yeah, there's no way you go hard Dragapult. You go Corviknight if anything, or Rotom. Like, there's no way you go Dragapult here. So I'm able to spin, and then they're gonna give me damage. I have to go Gardevoir, and I have to get this play right. I think initially I'll just Thunderbolt. That's, oh, Corviknight's a very fizz death, okay. I mean, Spideff. Okay, I got a Para on the way out, which is actually kind of big. The fact that I was able to wear that down so well actually helps out Memo a ton. Like, Memo has an opening here. As much as I want to stand, it's not where- actually... I could predict them to rocks, and I'm going to do that. They're faster. So they're jolly. That's weird, I've never really seen that. <laughs> Goes for crunch, that's fine. I'll throw a foul play here. And see how they want to respond. I think they sat Corviknight, like it's not going to get back into this game, so... No, they want to go Pax. Okay, I'll just make the Gardevoir play on the T-Spike before it goes up, like... My Rapid Spinner is dead, so I kind of have to take advantage of the situation while it's alright. Hard drill, okay. Fair enough. I think what I'll do is go... Ah, they did it quick. I thought they might click Iron Head, but honestly, Arcanine wasn't doing anything either way. This is definitely an L. Unless Flygon can do something for me here, which I, I don't think it can. I'm not gonna let Corviknight roost. They're gonna try to sack it here, yeah. So, like, I could spam Outrage for some sort of win. I, I don't think it's happening. Like... I want to be optimistic here, but I, I don't think I can win. Drag. I can go Umbreon. Yeah, they had, they're breaking their best play too and going for a U-turn. I would have just gone Drill if I were them there, but I guess they didn't want to. Okay, I don't think that'll matter very much. Kill it with Ice Shard here. Good pivot out? How fast are you though? Because I think if I can damage this, I might be able to do it with Flygon. Can I flinch it? Nah, no flinch. Okay. Well, I'll go Gardevoir, try to get whatever damage I can. I guess they sack off what? The, the drill, right? Yeah, this, this wasn't happening. <laughs> I, I tried to break this team, but there was no way this was winnable, I think. We'll just lock out Rage in the end. I uh, can't lock Earthquake. Yeah, I have to lock out Rage. They just sack off the the T tar and come back in. Yeah, GG, dude. I think we will end things off on that one. I think this was like it was kind of winnable had I played more offensively with Mamo. I think, but once Delmize died and they guaranteed the T spike, that was when things really went downhill. Yeah, that does way too much. And even if I crit that, which it wouldn't even kill, I Toxic X would still beat me. So. Let's call that a GG. Unfortunately, we're going to end things off on a loss, but that's all good. I did hope you all enjoyed. You can find the team down below in the description, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Later.